Hi there everybody. So in today's video we're going to look at the fuse boxes um, on this um, Volvo XC60. This is a 2012 model. Um, now looking at the manual, um, this is the location of the fuse boxes. Um, we have one, two, three, four and five. Now. Um, Number one is engine compartment. Two and three are under the glove box. Um, number four is cargo area. And number five is engine compartment cold zone. Uh, only start and stop. So if your car has start and stop, you will have number five there. Um, we don't, I, this car doesn't have start and stop. Uh, facility so um, we won't have number five now uh, looking at number one here engine compartment this is um, what the fuse box will look like um, so we have sections A B and C and that's how they are positioned in in the uh, compartment of that fuse box. So we can have a look at that now. Now I got the bonnet open. Um, you just need to flick this thing here to get the bonnet open, and uh, the fuse box will be hiding. Yeah, so if you get this cover out, um, this is where um, the fuses are. And that's, we have uh, some fuses here as well, 180 and 70. We have this ones here, we have this ones here, and we have these relays. Um, Behind that cover, we have a list of uh, fuses as well, and more or less what number does what or is for what. Um, but we also have a list of the fuses um, and what they are for in the manual itself um, so additional info see owner's manual here now uh, if you look at this cover if you look at it like this um, f16 here f17 18 19 those fuses 10 amp 20 amp 5 amp will correspond to these ones here and they are also number they're also numbered they have little numbers next to the fuse so it says f16 there that one's f20 the one next to it here that one's f21 and so on um, and of course these ones here will correspond to these ones And you have this little key here that you can use to remove fuses. So that's for the bigger ones, that side and this side for the for small ones. You just um, pick the fuse and pull it out. That's it. Okay, so you got the numbers for the fuses here as well. This is um, some numbering going on here. And if you look at your manual, 
you can see um, the numbers and what they are for. Now, um, under the glove box, we have um, some fuse boxes in there as well. Now we'll have a look. Uh, these are position on the inside of the cover is a label that shows the location of the fuses in fuse box A. So that is uh, fuse box A, this one here. We'll have a look at that. So if you go under the clock box here, um, you will see little box there and if we take that cover out just uh, pressing on the sides here you can take this little cover out and you can find uh, the fuses there now that cover That particular cover also um, shows you the fuse numbers and it tells you more or less what they're for. Okay, so that one corresponds to uh, fuse box A, and um, and the other fuse box, so fuse box B, um, will be behind this cover here. And just need to remove that cover. I'm just gonna get a screwdriver in there and just lift it up a little bit. That will pretty much release that. And that's where we have the other fuses. So, um, looking at this uh, drawing here, you can pretty much tell which uh, fuse is which one and what are they for. So if we have number one here, fuse number one is a 40 amp fuse. Uh, fuse number two and three are not in use. And then we have seven, eight, nine, ten and so on. And you can see Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and so on. You can refer to the amperage here and what they are for. Not all fuses will be available because you might not have all the features. So, um, in here, so number one here is a 40 amp fuse, and if you look at the box, that's number one there. And two, three, four, five, six are not available. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 
and so on. You just have to follow this pattern here and that's how they are fitted, exactly the same way. Same goes for this box here. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that starts on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So number two is not available. The others are available. And so on. You can see that one's not available. You can then go to back to the manual. So all these fuses here refer to box A. Up to here. And then we have box B. And this is what the fuses are for. And um, the last uh, fuse box, it's in the cargo area or in the boot. We can um, have a look at that. So, um, this is telling us that it's in the boot on the left side. We just have to remove this little panel here. And that's where the fuse box will be. So we have this panel. Take that panel off. We have that box. Again, press on the sides, remove that box. And that's where we have a few fuses and a couple of relays. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That basically goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now, these are not available. So, we probably haven't got that function. Uh, but, but we can see that 1, 2, and 3, and five are available so um, and also you do have some numbers in there tell you which number they are I can just about focus on that but number one there is number one here 30 amp fuse number two 30 amp fuse three 30 amp fuse four is not available 5, it's a 20 amp fuse, as we saw, that's 5 there, corresponds to that. And, and that's basically it. If you have the engine um, called um, uh, start, start and Stop, um, you will have this extra fuse box which is located under the engine um, I mean um, under the the bonnet so you get the bonnet open and you will find that box right there and you will have the different functions in there So, um, those are all the fuse boxes uh, that are in this uh, XC60. So, I, I hope this video helps you finding the fuse that you need. Um, and thanks for watching.